Welcome back, everybody. We're in Christmas Corner with 202 days until Christmas. It's but right around counting? the corner. It's right, it's right around. <laughs> Feels like it is. It a is. little bit. And again, uh, here with Paige showing us how to take one of your favorite holiday classics and make it into one of your favorite holiday accessories. Yes. Just like that. I am so impressed with this whole concept. I would say it's, it's for the books. It's for the books. For the books. That's all you got to yes, say. That's all you have to say. Well, I think like especially Christmas novels, you love these books. You put them on the shelf. You can keep them at home, or you can turn them into something fabulous that you can take them with you it's anywhere you go. Amazing that you even think of this. And I know you were inspired by. Uh, I know a great I can't Hallmark take movie. all the credit. I was inspired by a Hallmark, <laughs> Hallmark movies and mysteries movie. It's called Christmas for the Books. It sure. airs tonight, and it stars our friends Chelsea Kane and Drew Seeley. And Chelsea plays an author and a romance expert but cannot apply her own rules well, for her own love life. So she asks him to pretend to be her boyfriend. Okay. But the pretending doesn't work out so well and, you know, I think she ends up having to write a new book on romance. I guess she does yeah. because there's going to be a happy ending, everybody. Yes. Spoiler alert, just in case. <laughs> but yes, great film and gr inspired a great DIY. Yes. We'll start with the, with the perfect book. Just there's a good book. There's certain requirements when it comes to choosing the yes. right book for this. I went to a thrift store to get this and um, I would say get one that's about six by nine or seven by nine because yeah. you want it like clutch size, like, oh, it looks good me walking down with a little purse. Right, so and a then, big like Atlas wouldn't work It wouldn't much. work. No. And then um, you wanna make sure that it's at least seven or 800 pages because that's gonna give the thickness you need to maybe put a cell phone in there or lipstick and. Right, otherwise it would be too small. Okay, it, that yes. makes sense. Okay. So the first thing I would think to do is get in there and start cutting out the openings for the pages, but you say there's a couple important steps before that. Couple important steps first. Okay. First, find the middle of your book okay. and it doesn't have to be perfect. And then take wax paper and put it in as far as it will go. See. Then you take the back cover, you do the same thing with your wax paper. Okay. And then we will do it back here as well. Hold that for Doing you. Doing wax it. paper so there. You've got, you've got it kind of in thirds, or I guess in, yep. in half, but you've got three of those pieces of wax paper. Yep, and you the can reason see is because this part right here, yep. all the way around, we are gonna mod podge that together. So you want to make sure that they don't that these pages stick together, but it doesn't stick to any other part of the book. That's where the so, wax paper comes yep, in, everybody. And be very generous with this with your Mod Podge. You can um, just really get it in between the pages. Because guess what? You're gonna have to do it on that side. Yeah. And then put this over. You're also gonna have to go on this side. Can you see that? Yep. So basically the wax and, paper, it's such a smart idea before you do all the cutting. Yep, and then you have to go into the sides, okay. do the exact same thing. You got it. Thank you very much. Get it really close to the spine. What I did, I just kind of like pushed it. Do you see that? Yep, you kind of get it, it in there. Yep, because you don't long, want to stick to it. How long do you have to let this dry for? Very good question. You were Four to six hours for each one of these steps. Okay. So this is step one. You put it away, put it on the shelves, put a lot of books on top of it and come back to it in six hours. So those pages uh, dry, the glue dries with those pages tight together, I exactly. guess, right? Exactly. Okay, good. Okay. You want this still here? Uh, yes, that can okay. stay. Okay, so now I've done that, and I'm gonna show you back here. So now look at these. All these, pic all these pages are stuck together. So that is gonna be one side of our purse. Well but we have to cut out a little opening for our purse. So yep. if you could hold that for you me. I'll hold that I'm there. just gonna take a ruler and um, an X-Acto knife. And you can measure this perfectly or you can just go to where the words end and just start scoring. You got it. Now, does Score. it matter? Does it need for structure, for strength? Does it need to be a certain thickness left of the book? Or could you kind of go about a half inch in there if you want? Um, and yeah, you want at least, I would say at least an inch. Okay. But I just went with the letters because gotcha. I thought it was so nice and easy. Yeah, nice and and I'm going to tell you, this takes about 15 minutes to get through all these pages. Got it. Um, and so, and as you do, you just keep pulling them out. Score, Pull them out and score, throw them away. Score away yep. until? Until I've done this on the other side. Fantastic. So you can see, remember how perfect this was when it was just glued? Yep. Well, now that we've scored it, it's started to come apart a little bit. Okay, so, so to remedy that, we're going to keep that um, paper there. Okay. We're going to take more Mod Podge and put that, I'm going to show it there. Just put a lot of Mod Podge inside there. And it doesn't really matter if it kind of opens while you're doing it. Oh, because I see. you're going to put another another four to six hours you're going to wait you, I got you. with so it I, under books. It almost might help if the Mod Podge gets in there a little bit because yep. when you press it down, it closes, it'll, it'll stick even better, maybe. Exactly. So okay. we're going to make sure that we put this back. Okay. We're gonna set it aside under some books okay. for another four to six hours. I'll watch a couple Hallmark movies, yep. enjoy a Christmas for the books. And then we can take this, here, this is a present for you. Oh, Thank gee, you. Um, okay, so now we have, you see, we have our sides, and look at that, they're stuck together. That looks so great. Doesn't that look cool? Now, how do you get the sides to uh, attach to the front and the back the of the front. book? All we do is take some hot glue. We're gonna go all the way around. 
And you don't have to do it on the other side because it will stick. And then just attach it there, hold it for a minute. Okay, and hot glue obviously is gonna uh, bond very quickly. Very and, quickly. And it's okay as far as load goes because I know it's not the strongest glue in the world, but you don't need a super strong glue. You don't that. need a super strong glue because we're gonna add material to this that's actually gonna kind of be the structure behind it. And that's the next step, right? Exactly. So to base some of the uh, the inside uh, material that kind right. of help, helps things not fall out when you open it. Exactly, so what you wanna do is measure the side to side, it's gonna okay. be different for every book. Okay. Um, all the way down, I had like really an eight by six um, place to work with. You could actually cut out the panels and put them in there. Uh, but what I found that was a little easier was taking one that was already cut to 12. Now check this out. So I have cut this so that it fits inside. Perfect. All you wanna do is just add a little bit of hot glue there we go. Fancy a little bit. purse lining here, too. You got some it's, felt. It's felt. It's really not that fancy. Well, I just mean it's like cozy <laughs> and soft. It's and nice, yes. And keys aren't going to be like rubbing against anything. Exactly. So that is, that's the base lining. <laughs> but you don't want your purse to open this big. Okay. You want it to only open that big. So what you do is you put your fabric down like this. Yep. Just open it to about there. Make a line on your fabric All down right. there and cut that out. So we have we have two little pieces cut out and you just attach that inside. But yes, we'll move to this one. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Do you see how you can just take those corners, put them inside, and then what I did just at the top for a little clasp, added one of those little magnetic clasps, and guess what? It closes, it closes. up and then you put a little cover on it Let's too. see, let me see if it fits my phone. That what else impressive. do we have in I'm here? I'm telling you right now, this Lipstick. is gonna be a big hit with people out there, I promise you. For more information, head over to hallmarkchannel.com for the full instructions, that's where they will be. And don't forget to tune into A Christmas for the Books, which airs tonight at 9, 8 central on Hallmark Movies and Mysteries.